Hello, I'm Andrew Whitehead and I've got uh, an article in the latest issue of Planet about Dorothy Bonagie. This is Dorothy. She and her brother Bertie were Indian students who came to study in Aberystwyth in 1912 to the University College of Wales and two years later she caused something of a sensation when she was awarded the Bardic Chair at the College Eisteddfod. She'd written a poem anonymously and when they gave the pseudonym of the winning writer, she stood up to claim the Bardic Chair. She had quite a lot of poetry published in The Dragon and in Welsh Outlook. She was clearly quite a budding writer. I've been putting together her life story and finding out about her poetry with the help of her niece. And let me read one of her poems. This is from uh, 1914. Uh, the time of the First World War. Her brother served in the First World War. Um, and what she wrote is this. You said once I was lucky, but you wouldn't say it now. You swore that fortune never came your way. You used to say I always scored. Well now, your turn is here. You must confess that you have won today. I've read your letter once again. You write that you're just off and wish that I were there with you doing the same. You mention my commission. Oh, the fates have smiled at last. And you, not I, are scoring in this game. They say that I am shirking, that my duty is out there. They talk a lot. I wonder if they know that we who have to stay at home aren't finding it all fun. The easier job would be to cut and go. There was a rather sad aspect of her uh, time at Aberystwyth. Um, on the back of one of her, her poems is this handwritten note, which says, written at the age of 22, when a Welsh student, after three years of secret engagement, dropped me because his parents said, she is very beautiful and intelligent, but she is Indian. When her parents called her back to India, she refused to go. She, in fact, eloped with a French artist, Paul Sortel, and made her life in the south of France. This is Sortel's portrait of Dorothy Dorf Bonnergy. And if you want to find out more, please do read the latest issue of Planet. And if anybody would like to publish her poetry, drop me a line.